Hi everyone, thank you for joining me on today's edition of Travel Talk. I am heading over to the 41.36, Hampton is with me, he likes to visit with um, Lady and Lucy, he loves them. They used to live across the street, remember? So Hampton got used to seeing them every time I went to Melanie's house. nearby so when I go he goes um, I'm heading over there I got Sam following behind me with his uh, trailer I am going to have the I'm gonna pick up the motorcycle today I'm so excited uh, I have a battery for it but um, I'm gonna go ahead and have Sam put it on the back of the trailer and then we'll work it work we'll work on it uh, after it gets here to the house uh, we'll get the battery in there and I'll have him help me uh, look at the, maybe we'll change the oil. Or we'll just look things over before I take it out uh, for a ride. But this is a fantastic time of year to ride and boy howdy, I plan on getting one good ride in at least before it's too cold. Um, but hey, even in colder weather, I don't mind riding as long as there's no ice on the ground. It got pretty chilly in uh, Arizona and I rode. I've got gloves, I've got chaps, I've got uh, warm leather jackets. Um, so we'll see, but I definitely wanna go for at least one ride, uh, maybe up to Mount Magazine or something. But um, it is a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous September morning here in Arkansas and I tell you it this this time of year is got the best weather and um, it just I just love it I just love having this great weather to tootle around in and to be outside in and um, it just makes my heart happy I, I am antsy I am looking forward to a trip somewhere I'm not quite sure uh, where I'm gonna go but maybe someplace close by um, but um, I have been invited by uh, one of the subscribers Miss Dolores uh, thank you so much for the invite to come and visit and I may just take you up on that um, not sure when but um, I would like to meet you and you're so sweet to invite me over and um, to uh, just to get out and hang out and have a trip, yeah, you know, travel place to go, and um, I look forward to to meeting you. That that sounds like a wonderful idea. I can't promise when. I can't even say when, but um, I will say that uh, it would be wonderful to um, to meet you. And also, I've, I've had some other subscribers uh, reach out to me, and I so appreciate it. I appreciate it so much, Miss Jamie. I got your email. Um, Y'all bless my heart. I tell you, my heart. <laughs> Y'all, all of you bless my heart with your kindness and your uh, encouragement and your kind words. It's just wonderful to know that there are good folks out in the world uh, today. And I've always been a firm believer, folks. Now I know what they portray on the mainstream media and the fake news and all that is a bunch of hateful people. Um, but I don't buy it. I really don't. I know there's, there's sketchy people out there and there's people that um, have nothing but no good in mind. Uh, I do know that. I'm not stupid. However, I've always been a firm believer that there are more good people in this world than there are uh, evildoers. And um, it just blesses my heart to have that reaffirmed uh, in, my, in my thoughts, you know, to have it reaffirmed through you subscribers who are so kind and um, generous and encouraging. It, it really is uh, a tremendous... Um, feeling to know that there are more good people in the world than there are bad. I, I stand by that. People are, you know, yes, we are born into sin and we have a sinful nature, but I believe that the majority of people have, 
are good-hearted folks. And I'm not just talking about America, but throughout the world. Um, so, uh, one of the reasons why I created the His Gathering Place group. Um, I want to encourage you, if you if you like being encouraged and uh, you would like to maybe reach out and make some uh, faith-filled friends, go to the YouTube channel and check out what I've got there. It's His Gathering Place. There is a channel that I've created and there's a link, um, a Patreon link in the description boxes that you can um, join and be part of our group. We're having a great time meeting. We're meeting once a week right now. And um, I expect as the group grows, we're gonna be uh, increasing the days and the times. So you're invited to do that. Um, so anyway, we're heading over to the 41.36. I'm gonna get my motorcycle. Yes, I do have a motorcycle. And I really enjoy loving it. Um, I really love riding it. <laughs> I enjoy loving it. <laughs> That is funny. Um, so, um, yeah, I look forward to riding, and hopefully Anthony can get his up, go, up and going here sometime soon, and we can go for a ride um, at least once together uh, before the end of the year. I don't know how his time is uh, going to allow for him to get in his beast on the road, but um, gosh darn, this is such a pretty drive to Melanie's house. I know I say it every time, don't I? But it really is. It's a beautiful, beautiful drive. And uh, I feel so blessed. Excuse me. Pardon me. I feel so blessed for them. I feel uh, very happy for them. They are good people. And they're hard workers. And I'm very proud to be their mama. <laughs> but, um, so, let's see. Sam and Colin finished up the uh, trenches. They were they got all the fill dirt down in the bottom, underneath all the piping. I'll show you a picture of that because that's uh, we're ready to uh, have uh, come on back out here. What have David? We come on homestead back out here to um, take get the rest of the fill dirt put in with the tractor because that's a lot of work. They shoveled they shoveled what's in there. Um, they shoveled what the dirt in there to, for the underneath of the uh, the piping, um, underneath the line, so of the water and the sewer. So uh, I said, just hold, you know, just do get get what's in there, what you need, and then we'll have I'll have David come back out, which he already agreed to, and he will push the rest of that fill dirt in there, and then I'm gonna have him uh, go sift through and get those big boulders out because yes, as as some of you suspect our my property uh, is on a an old river. I don't know if it's a riverbed or just uh, I'm not sure, but there's a lot of river rock in there, which is good for me because I want to I want the river rock. I want him to um, get those big rocks up and bring them up to where I can uh, utilize them whether in flower beds or borders or keeping the rabbits, you know, in all around the, wherever. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to use them, but I want them. <laughs> I want them because, you know, they're, they're useful. I don't want to waste it. So David, I'll have him come out and he will get the rest of it done. And then the next step will be uh, getting gravel placed and making the, um, getting uh the next step will be getting gravel out here and making the rv pad and um then it's just a matter of moving the the camper and hooking it up and they will be in their own place isn't that wonderful it's taking a little longer it's taking a little longer but i'm i've saved a lot of money doing it this way um, it was a very uh, big project, so hiring a contractor, which I did investigate, uh, it was very costly business and too much for this purse, <laughs> too much for this lady, but um, we did it this way, and not only are we saving money, but um, Colin got in there and he's learned a few things with uh, Sam, teaching him, so I'm excited them 
they are excited and I am very grateful for uh, Sam. Uh, being, being introduced to Sam was uh, such a blessing and uh, he has been such a big help to me and um, I couldn't be I couldn't be I couldn't feel more blessed he's a wonderful man and he has been such a big help to me and Sam if you are watching this I just want you to know I appreciate you very much and um, well we are almost here and like I said this is such a beautiful drive uh, it just blesses my heart but I'm excited. I'm excited for the kids. Big plans, big plans. The next plan after the RV park is done is uh, gonna uh, upgrade the chicken, uh, the barnyard chicken coop to where I don't have to bend down. We already have all the wood. And Sam's just gonna frame it out so that I don't have to bend down when I'm inside. And he's going to make it so I don't have to bend down to get in and out so I don't hit my head. Head on the on the gate. Um, let's see. And then after that, uh, I'm not sure quite sure what the next one is, but I've got projects lined up, uh, well written down and planned to keep him busy as much as he as much as he uh, wants to work on the weekends. I'll keep him busy, at least for now. At least for now. Anyway, I am just about here, so I'm going to say ta-ta uh, for now. Ta-ta. <laughs> I don't ever say ta-ta. I just say, <laughs> I just feel, I feel good today, guys. As you, can you tell? I'm, I got a happy heart today. Um, I'm going to say bye-bye, and thank you for watching, and I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you, and you guys mean the world to me, and I, I uh, appreciate your kindness. I appreciate your encouragement. I appreciate your uh, generosity and thoughtfulness. And most of all, I appreciate your prayers. Keep my family in prayer, please. Melanie's still suffering with the shingles. I'm taking dinner over to her and the family today so that uh, neither one has to um, to make dinner. And um, so, then I'm going to help her as much as I can today. Uh, in addition to getting the motorcycle, that that is the main purpose of my visit is to give Melanie a helping hand and uh, give her a you know give her a big hug and and all that. So love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. We got big things happening. Stay tuned and uh, well I'll keep you up on things. All right, love ya. Bye-bye. Mwah.